Hi, Alessio. Hello. How are you, Ruben? Good, good. Yeah. Exploring the new security release pipeline. Yeah, they are cool. Yeah. But still some rough edges. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, Amy. Hello, Michaela. Hello. How's it going? Good. Just trying to find a link. One sec. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, this is our twenty uh, sixth of July. It's APAC EMEA um, Delivery Weekly. Get the right name. Um, and it also is our, oh no, it's not, I'll take that back. I was going to say final final delivery weekly of the quarter, but actually no, Mondays is officially the final one. So I'll take that back. Um, so I just dropped in a quick announcement. We have a infra and quality group conversation tomorrow. So at the very least, please read through the slides, um, see what people have been up to. If you want to drop a question in the agenda, that would be very welcome. If you want to come along to the call and also take part in the discussion, that would be even better. Um, but please do check out the, um, the slides at least. And two, uh, this may be a bit keen, I think, since we just added this on Monday, but is there anything that should be in the change log since Monday? Okay, okay. I, awesome. I think there might be some things uh, related to the security release. I'll make a list. Um, they they should. Oh, actually, yeah. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. You mean the for the first steps? You're right. Yeah, we haven't put those in the change log. So yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Awesome. Feel free to just give us a list, Ruben. We can do, do, do we that really as need part them? of the work. I mean, the 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 this procedure begins the same, and the procedure is you follow the checklist, and now the checklist says now you do this. So from an external point of view, nothing changes. I think yeah. we can make mention. We, yeah, but... I, I think it'd be worth putting something in a change log, like you know, first steps uh, is now in a pipeline or something. And I'm pretty sure that in the doc somewhere, so we can link to that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, more like an FII. But yeah. also there are some things like uh, like the fact that if any job fails in the first steps, you can just ignore it, you know, check it manually. And, and it's not like a regular pipeline where if something fails, you know, the entire pipeline is stuck until you fix that failure. So maybe that can be mentioned in, in the docs and then we can just link to it from the change log. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. And I'm hoping um, Steve will take a look at this because ideally you shouldn't have anything you should need to ignore. The idea is that the pipeline results are giving you the, the correct information. So there's there's some improvement from our side on the, the fact you have a failure that you can just ignore. Um, so we should change that. Yeah, but I will say it, it reduced the amount of time to do the first steps to like a few minutes. Not even a few minutes, like one minute, I think. <laughs> super, super, super. The final steps is going to be in testing um, next week. So that also hopefully is another like uh, big win. So. Yeah. Awesome. Um, great. And I've got a discussion item 
may just be a bit of a quicker one since there's only uh, a few of us here, but I was wondering, since we are now approaching the end of the quarter um, and we're sort of looking at what to do for Q3, I was curious about people's thoughts on, like, is there anything you would like to see improved or changed for cross-team sharing? So I'm wondering, like, we have team priorities get posted in Slack each Monday. Uh, we have epic statuses through the week. There's a grand review on Friday. Uh, and also there are, like, ad hoc messages. Curious to hear on people's thoughts, like, are those useful? Like, are they enough? Is there other stuff? Not necessarily, like, other solutions, but, like, are there other pieces of information you would like to be receiving on a more regular basis? Uh, the epic statuses, uh, sorry, not epic statuses, the, the weekly priority list is useful. Um, the grand review is also useful. So yeah, it's been useful for me. I think it's always about uh, how much engaged you are in looking at this kind of thing, so much attention you pay, right? So it's always like an individual aspect that uh, people may skim through it and people paying oh it is actually interesting i'm gonna dig deeper into that so i'm finding the the ground review uh for um uh, very useful for uh at the platform level when you want to see uh, what is happening on a high level on everything else i find it less useful for uh, cross delivery information mm. because it's kind of a hit and miss because uh, not every time uh, the host goes into the details of, of what is happening and this is okay at that level because they, they're giving an, an overview of everything but for uh, thing, people that works more uh, closely related to each other it may not cover the things that you need mm -hmm. and, and uh, in, in that sense the, the, the weekly priorities kinds of help a bit more because they give you uh, a hint and what is happening right now, what is important right now on both teams. Do those things connect up enough? Like I'm wondering, like, because grand review is a slightly different look um, compared to team priorities. Like, would it, would it be helpful if we actually tried to kind of um, almost include in the team priorities, like the, here is the ideal delivery grand review info plus the team priorities what you would include in the ideal team priority in grand review info just i think a bit more of a what we have done is probably what i'm thinking is different so like i think grand review is kind of like here is the epic status which mm -hmm. says like here's what's been achieved and and why and here's what we're planning to do next and why and i think team priorities i think can sometimes be a little bit more focused on this upcoming week, we want to work on this particular task. Yeah, instead of what we achieved last week. Which yeah, like I'm wondering, would it be useful to try and include some of that as well? So simply a link to the status of the epics that we have in Grand Review or uh, more of an explanation? Yeah, like a, a sentence or two on like, you know, <laughs> say for example, like, say for example, security releases, right? Like we have um, the first steps are pretty much complete and being used and we we maybe have a bit of improvement uh, to do but we're actively working on the final steps ready for the next security release which is like the epic status and then and this week we want to get through you know this these particular three jobs and get those ready for the security release it seems to i mean i think it could be useful but it seems like um um we're spending more time on rewording the same information that we already have to put in, in the epics. So I don't know if just a direct link to the on, on progress mm -hmm. table on release velocity that can be posted when, when we do the priorities. Yep. Is, uh, curious about what we have done, uh, what we have achieved last week, link. Right. Yeah. And, and you go there and you can, because it, it, it's all there, right? You just scroll from top to the bottom and you can see the last update on the table. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. The, I think the, the part, I agree. On the other side, sometimes the status updates on the epics are uh, very technical, very niche, very niche to the technology or something. And maybe you have some people in the team that will find, okay, 
what is this about? And, you know, so, yeah. So I agree that we can reward. Uh, on the other end, some, I, can, I could feel that someone might, might lose some uh, context on that. But so I don't have a solution. I just like uh, wanted to raise this up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when they go up too much into the technical details, this is also always flagged during the grand review. So to me, it sounds more like there is yes. a problem in the status of update of that epic, because mm -hmm. even if it's a very technical implementation epic, that should be more of a On the... uh, executive summary of, of yes. what happened that week in any case. Okay, good. Let's, then let's use it like that. And let's try to drive it in a way that maybe we, we have better status updates on the epics that can be consumed by everybody. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Another thing I wanted to ask, do we want to have a, a end of the quarter joint uh, orchestration system kind of demo? That could be a good idea. A session um, where uh, we kind of like, you know, we time box it 10 minutes per demo, two, three demos, something like that. So everyone is a bit uh, more uh, up to speed of what is going on in both teams. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Um, I'm orchestration, maybe maybe more equipped to do this async but don't let that stop us like um we'll have a think about this I'm thinking Alessio you've already recorded your super fast CI stuff um I I you're you're off from Monday is that right yeah yeah, yeah. so I was thinking like, we could do this on Monday but Alessio's already recorded a good recording of of the kind of in, the most interesting thing I think that's coming um on syncing repos and Myra did a really good walkthrough yesterday of the final steps, but it was all kind of faked up. Um, so she may not want to, in fact, she may not be able to do that again right next to the security release. That's okay. the only challenge, I think, from orchestration side. We can push it to a week after. We don't have to do it on Monday. Uh, if it's easier for everybody, you know, it's uh, it was it's also something that if we don't want to start to apply this quarter, we can already apply for the next quarter. It's something that I wanted to know if, you were up with the idea of having kind of, okay, this is the end of the quarter. This is what we achieved, both teams together. And I think is a, is a good I point. I think we should definitely do it. I think it'd be great to do it on Monday. Like, would it be, is it something that could be pre-recorded? And then we could have like discussion? We can pre-record it. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more difficult um, to kind of ask questions when something is pre-recorded. So you can say when is live, you can pause and husk. Yeah. So, yeah. But I mean, if we want to go through this time and do a recording, sounds good. Let's go to the recording one. So, so what we worked on this quarter as orchestration is really hard to demo because it has inter it interacts with live systems and change status of branches. And that's why we have the recordings. Because of, uh, just an example, so I did re the recording that uh, Amy was mentioning in, in my GDK to show the thing to, to the team. Uh, and then we were testing this uh, when it was merged we were testing this live, but in order to test it live, we had to have AppSec mm -hmm. online, a lot of people. So when yesterday was the demo time, I was just going through the screenshot and the pages of the things that happened when I was testing it, right? So, and basically that's the same thing that Myra did yesterday. In order to show mm -hmm. a demo, she basically changed all of the code in order to not interact with this, this and mm -hmm. that, which kind of gave us an idea of the structure and everything, but maybe if we want to see how it works it's easier to record the final step of of the upcoming security release when okay, they will yeah. happen later this week compared yeah. to just do the and the then we put part. everything together and watch everything recorded right yeah yeah that would be a good idea Okay, let's talk about let's like uh, let's make a plan for how we can do that logistically. Uh, but yeah, I think we should. I think it would be great to do a kind of a wrap up of what we did each quarter in the quarter, and also to share a bit about what we're planning for next quarter, um, and point people in the kind of right direction so that you know we share some context. So yeah, um, let's let's catch up on that on McKill and get get a plan for Monday. Mm -hmm. oh.
So we do it Monday, even if the security release hasn't been up in the final steps. That was the question there. Yeah. So we won't be able to demo that because it will be the day before the security release. So we won't have run that. Um, but um, Myra showed it yesterday, right? Am I remembering things correctly? Myra demoed yesterday. So we have about 80% of it ready to show. Okay. Sounds good. I think on Monday, there's someone from, yeah, I have one people. Just doing delivery on weekly Monday. on Monday. Yeah. yeah, I only have uh, Ruben on Monday. You're the only one Ruben here. I ah, know, also Vladimir is in Monday. Okay. Oh, cool. sounds good. Okay, great. Um, awesome. Is there any other stuff anyone wants to discuss today? I did want to ask something related to the security release. Yeah, for uh, has the procedure for omnibus uh, security issues changed? Because there is a step now that says, uh, check if the security release tracking issue contains any linked issues for projects under GitLab managed versioning. Does that include omnibus? The brackets, in brackets, it says CNG, Gitly. Yeah, GitLab they are considered managed versioning because the, we do tag them, but what is? But I don't think we have like a component version file, do we, for Omnibus? No, but this, I think this is, uh, you're right. So, because it's a packager, uh, the same yeah. is for CNG, but the thing when, uh, what this is doing? uh so basically if you go to the link when you say the components under managed versioning in the docs say that gitlab omnibus gitly pages and cng are considered managed versioning because we generate tag and and branches so that's the managed versioning it's managed versioning when we tag and generate branches uh the, the version file is just a mechanism for propagating versions between the packagers and, and the application but the what we meant here is that uh, if we generate, if there are, if there are projects where we generate stable branches and tags as part of the release process, this is uh, this is what we are talking here. Okay. And but, then I uh, think you're right because in the real uh, because I yeah maybe this this thing is not clear. I think that the that part of the checklist is not clear though, because they, uh, because then the action part is only for components under uh, managed versioning. I, yeah. I get your point. Yeah. I I my guess is the wording has changed, not the activity. I don't think we've done any different stuff, but I think no, we may have this was never there. Uh, this changed recently, so someone yeah, had some issue definitely. and wrote it down, but is yeah. not in the in the right wording. Correct. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that doesn't help you, Ruben, but yeah, we sympathize. No, I mean, uh, it, it does uh, clarify that we don't have to change anything for Omnibus. No, it's just if Pages or uh, or Gisely have uh, security issues, then... Then we have to merge the, yeah. the MR itself and the component version change. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, is there anything else that we should talk about? Okay, I'll stop the recording.